my name is Kelly. I'm a full-time reseller. My Poshmark and Instagram are both rebel underscore rose underscore co. Today is going to be what's sold in October. I know it's almost the end of November. I am one of my New Year's resolutions is going to be to be better at getting these out on time. I just I don't wear makeup often, so when I do wear makeup, I like film a bunch of videos and also I'm a procrastinator. I don't share all my numbers because I don't feel comfortable and also to be completely honest, I'm not super proud of them. I have been kind of slacking. So, yeah, this month was a lot of accepting offers, but I did have some really, really good sales. I'm going to try and share the best ones at the beginning, some high dollar sales, which I don't have a lot of. I sell a lot of lower end stuff, so these high dollar sales mean a lot to me. So if you like this video, comment, subscribe, watch all the way through. All of those things help me out so much. I am trying to get monetized. I need about 1,700 more watch hours, and I did the math, and it was something like a 15 minute video of mine would have to be watched 8,000 times to reach my 1,700 hour uh, goal, so or 2,000 hour goal, which I've gotten 300 out of. If you guys watch my videos, that literally helps me out so much. I have my computer here and I am going to get started. These are in no particular order. Okay, so I'm gonna share my top sale this month. The brand is Rodo, R-O-D-O. I hauled it in a video and I will link it up here and they retail for like around a thousand dollars. It was an Italian rattan wicker and leather handbag. Super nice, super clean. I got this for very, very inexpensive and I sold it for $189. It was sitting with no interest for a really long time and then it finally sold for $189. So I am so happy. This is one of my top sales. Never sold anything for over 200. I know a lot of people like sell really high end stuff. I don't. I sell mostly like, you know, like mid-range stuff. So those high-end sales are a really big deal to me. Let me find one of my other high-end sales. This was another high-end sale. This was a Max Mara wool made in Italy pea coat. It was really nice. It's out with no interest for a really long time. I was able to get it for pretty inexpensive. I'm going to share my cost of goods if I remember them off the top of my head, if I feel like it. Some people were really wanting them. Some people were saying don't share that information. So it's just going to be a little bit of both, honestly, because I can't make everybody happy. So <laughs> I did get this for very inexpensive and I sold it for $105. I was so happy with that and it was really bulky. So that was nice to get rid of that. And then I had one more high end sale and then I'm going to share a ton of mid-range sales. I am also not sharing everything because I sold like a lot of stuff. Okay, I sold a pair of Sorel leather out and about duck boots. I got these for very inexpensive too, and they sold right away for $75. They had been in a pile of shoes that I just needed to clean and list. I had a huge pile, and once I finally got through them, all the shoes started selling. So yeah, Sorel is awesome. I have sold another pair of Sorel boots for 90, I believe, and I had purchased those on Facebook Marketplace for $10. So always keep an eye out on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I was really happy with that sale. Okay, now I'm gonna share, I have quite a bit of like mid-range sales. This item has been a problem for me. So it was a Tahari Pure Lux 100% bleh. Tahari Pure Lux 100% cashmere cardigan. Super pretty. So I sold this one time for $19 and they opened a return case and they said it was shrunk. It wasn't shrunk. It was a size medium. I'm a size large, extra large, and it fit me perfectly. And I included measurements. It was not shrunk. Poshmark accepted it with no measurements or anything. They accepted the return. I had put my measurements in there and I included them in the case and they just said it was shrunk and Poshmark accepted it. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty pissed about that because it wasn't shrunk and there were measurements and it fit me and I am like a large, extra large. So yeah, anyways, I got that item back. I relisted it. I sold it again for $36, shipped the item and then like it was like a week and a half later, I got a notification that it was canceled and I was like, what? What's going on? So I looked and it hadn't started tracking and it had been like a week and a half and it hadn't started tracking and I just didn't notice that. So I contacted Poshmark and they were like, well, we'll see if it tracks. Eventually it did start tracking and the person never, um, nothing, they, they just kept the order canceled, but Poshmark reimbursed both of us, which I was really happy about. I actually had another order like that this month. Okay. The next item is Bryn Walker. It was a long sleeve oversized tunic. It was just a modal tunic top. Ugh. 
tunic top. It was super soft. Everything modal is always super soft. I sold it for 35. I was happy with that. Next was a pair. I almost just sent into thread up because I really don't like listing shoes. These were Clark's Artisan Black Suede or Suede Heeled Ankle Booties. They were just like really short ankle booties. I didn't think they were going to do pretty well, but they sold for $22. This sat for over a year. It was a J. Crew 100% merino wool marled green sweater. It had some holes that I did sew, or my mom sewed them. <laughs> I, I can't sew. Yeah, it sat forever. It finally sold for $20, so I was like, okay. Pretty much accepting a lot of offers lately. I just... I want to raise my average sale price and get rid of a lot of these lower end things, list less and list better things because I have a lot of like $10, $20 items listed and I'm just not into that anymore. So next was Adriana Papel. It was a tiered blue sheath dress. I sold it for $20. It was, that was okay. I, I don't know. That brand doesn't do super well for me. So Lululemon does not do super well for me anymore and I find the old styles everywhere for like a buck. This was a good sale. It was a Theory Merino Wool Blend Draped Cardigan. Super cute cardigan. Had been sitting and I was getting ready to send it into ThreadUp next time I got a label. Also have a video on ThreadUp. I'll link it up here where I talk about how I've made thousands of dollars, brands that do well on there. Theory is one of the brands that does really well on there. So I usually send in most of my Theory to ThreadUp and payouts can be fairly good. But I ended up selling this for $60 and I remember my cost of goods, I believe it was $8. I think that I thrifted this in a thrift with me at Value Village. I'll try and link it up here if I can. Okay, this was a little disappointing. Free People is another one of those brands that's not super amazing. This was a new with tags, Free People, metallic. The style name is Diamonds Are Forever. It was a dress. It had shoulder pads. It was like this metallic dress. I had purchased this on Poshmark in a bundle over a year ago to resell. And it retailed for 128. I only sold it for 25 and it literally had no interest no matter how many times I relisted it. Okay, this was a good sale. It was a Hollister Army Green utility jacket with pockets. I sold it for 27 and it sold pretty quick. Just a basic Hollister utility jacket. Uh, I think I've sold a couple of these like those mall brands, but utility jackets do pretty well for me. Okay, this was a Madewell light blue button down long sleeve top. $12. I paid one for it, so that's fine. But honestly, it's like I have a hard time saying no to like Madewell, Free People, um, Lululemon if they're cheap, even if they're styles that are not going to sell super great for me. But I honestly, I hate listing and I would like to do less of it and raise my cost of goods. So that is a goal for me with this upcoming year. So I'm trying to kind of like sell all my cheaper stuff. Okay, this shirt I thought was so cute. I bought this like a year ago and I thought it was gonna sell right away. I remember I posted a picture on Instagram of it. It's a burnout tea and it says stay salty and it has a little salt shaker. I just thought it was really cute. The brand is just Wallflower, it's a nothing brand. I sold it for 15. Okay, this was one that had been sitting for forever too. I talked about in one of my other videos. Stuff either sells right away for me or it sits for like a year. <laughs> There's like no in between. So this was a current Elliott $188 Madeline black off the shoulder top. It um, did have straps that you could like pull down or put back up and it was a size zero. I think that's why it's hat for so long. Yeah, it retailed for $188, but I sold it for $30. Okay, this one came from my personal closet. I did a video where I decluttered my personal closet. And this was from it. It was a Lululemon black zip up athletic jacket. I was a little disappointed that I only got $28 for this. I was hoping for like 40, but honestly, sometimes when I get offers, it's just like, it's, I just want things gone. And especially lately, I've been really overwhelmed with how much stuff I have. And I don't have thread up labels at the moment. So I've been listing a lot of things that I would normally send a thread up, which is another reason why I have a lot of lower end stuff, so. This was a Fix Technical Collection Navy Blue Scrub Top. Sold it for $24. It sold fairly quickly. I was hoping for a little more for this, but again, I got an offer, so that was okay with me. All right, this was something that I had purchased on ThreadUp to resell. I've only done that a few times. It retailed for $298. It was a Bariano Australia Lace Formal Maxi Dress. It was a very, very heavy dress and it took up like half a bin. It was worn on the Bold and Beautiful TV show. I've never watched that, but when I up using Google Lens, it had been worn on that show. 
So yeah, I sold it for 45 and I was happy with that. I did pay $8 on ThreadUp. I sold Ann Eileen Fisher 100% silk black tank top for $34. Again, Eileen Fisher is a brand I normally send into ThreadUp, but I had a bunch listed because I didn't have labels at the moment. So I was really happy with this sale, $34 for a tank, that's great. I sold the brand, or I sold the great black and white striped long sleeve top. It was, the brand was The Great. I have sold this brand one time before. It was a striped and polka dot short sleeve shirt. I sold it for $40. I paid five for it. It sold right away. This did not sell super great because it did have some pilling. So that's why I only got 20 for it. Okay, I sold an Eileen Fisher linen blend hot pink cardigan. This sat for forever. I wanted to send it to thread up, but I don't have labels at the moment. Um, I sold it for $28. That was fine. I sold it Barefoot Dreams. I just hauled this robe within the last couple of haul videos. It was a cozy chic gray robe. It was just a poly microfiber knit. It did have some discoloration, some pilling. It was not in amazing condition, and I was actually surprised that I got 40 for it. It sold right away too, so I was really happy with that because, again, this took up a lot of space. Okay, this next one was Dance Co. Leather Tasha Clog Wedge. The style name was Tasha. There's just a leather clog wedge by Dance Co. Again, I would have liked to get like 40 bucks for these or maybe even a little more but i got an offer for 28 and i had a lot of shoes listed so i accepted it okay this next one sold right away this was a new to me brand the brand was texture and i hauled this also in a recent haul these retailed for around 100 they were hemp and organic cotton wide leg flare yoga pants these did have a little bit of pilling and there was something on the bottom pant leg I did obviously photograph that and note that in the listing. So I wasn't, I didn't have super high hopes, but these did sell for $20 and they sold very quickly. If you're still watching, that means a lot to me. It takes me a long time to edit these videos. I'm still learning with all that kind of stuff. So yeah, since I'm not making money from YouTube yet, if you guys watch these videos the whole way through, engage with anything, that helps me out a lot because I would love to be able to be monetized one day. The brand tag was removed on these, so they were unbranded, but they were brown woolen cashmere skinny leggings. And since they didn't have a brand, I did not have high hopes for them, but they sold for $28 and they sold pretty quickly. Okay, I sold a pair of Birkenstock Granada leather sandals. They were leather and cork. They had a lot of wear, and I don't understand, I mean this not in a mean way, but I don't understand people who buy Birkenstocks used. They gross me out. I can barely sell them. They I, it just grosses me out. I, I just don't understand it. Like, I get not wanting to buy them new, I have like a $10 knockoff pair from Amazon and they work fine for me. So I just, I don't know, they just grossed me out. But yeah, I sold it for 22, that was fine. I ha did have a lot of wear. Okay, I literally never sell Adidas, but I got these and they were the Adidas Consortium Samba sneakers. They were from the Consortium line, which I guess is their higher level of product. I didn't, I don't really know because I don't sell a lot of this stuff. They retailed for 150. They felt like suede, but I couldn't tell there was no material tag. So I don't know. I was a little confused on these. I did a lot of research, but they sold for 25 pretty quickly. So I was done with that. These were a pair of Lucky Brand Genuine Leather Navy Cahill loafers. The style name was Cahill. Yeah, they were just a pair of black, or sorry, navy leather loafers, really good condition, sat for forever, but they sold for $28. Okay, this I was shocked by. It was a LuLaRoe dress. Again, I normally send these into thread up if for some reason I come across them, but I thought this one was actually kind of cute, so I listed it. It was the LuLaRoe Red Floral Amelia Fit and Flare dress, and I was literally so shocked. It sold within like an hour for $27. Next was a new with tag Gap Vintage High Rise Flare jeans. Yeah, basically what the what they said, they were just new with tags. The style name is vintage. They were not actually vintage. They sold for $25 pretty quickly. This one was a little bit disappointing. It was a Rebecca Taylor hooded baby doll jacket sweatshirt. I sold it for 25. I purchased this a very long time ago at Goodwill. I believe it was actually at a Goodwill thrift with me video that I did. The style just isn't super in 
and Rebecca Taylor retails for a lot but doesn't always resell for a lot so when I got an offer I was happy with that these were mine it was a pair of Madewell high-rise skinny Lysol blend jeans I sold them for $34 I had purchased these on Poshmark, I think for like $30, $35. So this wasn't that exciting. They just didn't fit me the way I wanted them to fit me. Okay, I don't sell Zara super often, but I listed these because they were cute. Zara basic collection navy Chelsea boots. I sold them for 17. They were fox leather, faux leather. I always say that wrong. <laughs> I can't be a reseller if I'm like saying, I can't say, I always say cheek instead of chic. Fox instead of faux. Um, I can never say, I literally can't even say it the right way. C couture? I always say like couture and then I sound like an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not up with all the lingo. Okay, this was a new to me brand, Mavi Jeans. This The style name is Adriana Super Skinny Mid-Rise Jeans. They retail for about $120. I sold it for 18. That was fine. It was a new to me brand. Okay, this was an unbranded, no size pajama pants or pajama set that I got. It was this like fall autumn leaves pajama set. I'm pretty sure somebody like sewed this together, like just made it at home. And I just picked it up because it was cute and I sold it for 20 right away. So next was a bundle. It was a pair of Chico's tensile tan trouser pants and a Tallulah Babaton wool cashmere long coat. I sold this bundle and I was disappointed with the price. Um, my Wi-Fi just went out. It says my, okay, I will, I'll put up here the price that I sold the bundle for. Uh, so I wanted a lot more than this for the coat, but it was so huge. It was long and thick. So I accepted the offer. And then this was also like that other one where it took like two weeks to track. And then the person canceled. And I was like, I shipped it, I swear. And they were like, no, you didn't. So, uh... Yeah, but Poshmark ended up reimbursing both of us, so thank God. Um, next was Aerosols Zebra Print Fur Leather Loafers. I don't really know anything about this brand. I don't normally pick it up, but I picked these up and I sold them for $34 and I was really happy with that. They sold very quickly. Next was Sarah's Day and White Fox Active Jasmine Leggings. Sold them for $27. I had wanted a little more, but... They sold really quickly, so I was okay with that. I sold a pair of Torrid Boyfriend High Rise Distress Jeans for $23. Okay, this was Jessica McClintock. McClintock? I, I don't know how to say it. And Goon Sacks. It was a hot pink, satin, strapless, like poofy dress. And I purchased this. I can't remember for how much, but it was at the Salvation Army a very long time ago because they've been closed for like a year now. And all I had seen was Goon Sacks. I didn't realize that when it's with Jessica McClintock, it's not as popular. But I sold it for $38, finally. The dress also took up a lot of space because it was very poofy. So I was happy to get rid of that. This was the brand The Limited. It was a new with tags, $159 vegan leather moto jacket. Sold it for $32. Not super happy with that, but it was sitting for forever. Okay, this was a Swix black outdoor snow pants. So they were kind of snow pants, kind of outdoor pants. This was a new to me brand. I thrifted it in a recent thrift with me video. Um, I have a couple of those on my channel if you want to watch them. I had never found this brand before, but I believe I paid $3 for it and it sold for 30 right away. They were men's. I've only sold this brand a couple times, but each time it does really well. It's D jeans, it's D period jeans. They were high rise, medium wash, skinny jeans, size 16. They sold right away for $25, so I was really happy with that. Okay, these were the brand Born. The style name was Borda over the knee suede boots. They retailed for $235. I kind of wanted to send these in thread up because I've seen some people get a lot of money for Born on there, but for the millionth time, I don't have any labels right now. So I listed them and they sold for 40. That's all the ones that I'm going to mention today. I did sell a lot more than that but I just wanted to share some of my top Poshmark sales just because it's fun for me and I feel like it can help other people to know what kind of brands to pick up, what kind of brands to avoid. That's why I try and share some that I'm disappointed in. So yeah, if you watch the whole way through, that means so much to me. Please like, comment, subscribe. It only takes a second. If you wanna replay this video while, or play any of my videos like while you're listing or doing whatever, that means a lot to me. It helps me out so much. I need 1,700 watch hours and 
yeah, that's a lot. So I really appreciate anybody who watches my videos and I will see you next time. Bye.